Good morning, students. Good morning. Okay, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a super day. Have a nice day. Okay. Anyway, you must greet others. Okay, you must greet others uh, by using this uh, sentences. That is called graces. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good evening, sir. This way. Then after that, you must say that I have a nice day. Lunch time. You must use have a super lunch. Have a satisfying lunch. Have a fantastic lunch. Yeah, have a spicy lunch. Okay. Have a sound lunch. Sleep time. Evening. Night. Have a sound sleep. Just like you must be this. Okay. After you say good night. After you say good night. Don't say again. Don't talk. Don't say anything. Don't talk with others. Don't move with others. You must only go to sleep. This is a good night day important. After say good night, oh, oh I forgot something. We, we, oh, hello, I forgot only. Then it will become good morning. So good night is the end of the day. That is after say good night, close your eyes and go to bed. That's it. This is the principle of saying this good morning. Greeting others. Greeting others. So you got to learn. So many things for the past four days, isn't it? Okay, first of all, self introduction, how to introduce yourself. Second class, the grammar. Grammar means the rules and regulation in English. That is the traffic rules. Do you know the traffic rules? Just like some rules. When you use these rules and regulation, then you can speak English fluently without any interruption and hesitation. You can drive this English vehicle correctly. Otherwise, some action will happen. When you talk without grammar, then others may not understand. Either may not under, other, uh, others are not able to understand what you are speaking. They are very struggling. They will be struggling to understand. Some struggles, some actions will happen. That's why you must use grammar very well. Other tense. Tense is the main thing in English. Tense. By verb. Verb, verb represents the tense. Okay, verb, verb, verb means the action word. Main verb, action verb. Already seen, already verb seen. Okay, main verb, action verb. And uh, different uh, models can, good, shall, should, just like different, active, different activities, different style of English. Isn't it? Okay, next, uh, next yesterday I told three type of. Tenses. Twelve type of tenses in English. Okay, twelve type of tenses. Can you repeat? Simple person? Simple person. Yeah, person can you yes? Person perfect and yeah, person perfect, person perfect and yes. Simple past, past can you yes, past perfect, past perfect and yes. Then simple future, future can you yes, future perfect, future perfect and yes. Just like I already practiced by using two verbs. Two verbs. What are verbs? Listen, swim. Okay, two verbs you already practiced. Uh, next, already I, I taught yesterday what portion? Parts of a speech. Parts of a speech is the, well, the whole sentence consists of different parts. The parts, first of all, you must learn about the parts, then only you can assemble it. How to assemble the method is very important. You should assemble in a proper place. You should assemble in a proper place. Okay, today uh, I am going to give one demo how to tell a story. Storytelling is very important in English. Anyway, you can know how to form a sentence. Yes, I told you. You can know how to form a sentence. You can know. Okay, you know how to form a sentence. But Today I want to express how to tell a story to others. Okay, this is for, for this purpose I am going to teach one demo. What is this? Yeah, this is the first man Adam. Is the first man Adam and go around at different places we go around. Okay. This is the first man, Adam. 
So the bad man, first man was with God. Very close relationship. No surprise. He was very close relationship with God. But one day, this uh, woman, the first woman, woman is called Eve, disobeyed God. Okay, and also he blessed the uh, fruit and she blessed the fruit and then gave to mother husband. And both of them had committed sin against God. That's why there must be suppression. There was it? Suppression between this man and God. Before the sin, they were empty. God is light. We know God is light. But so many uh, trials, so many ways were followed to join this God and man. God has prepared, God has planned so many, God has uh, given so many opportunities to join, but everything was failed by man. Man is not. God is always God. No, no, no. He will never change, but man only really changes. Anyway, finally, God has come. Uh, God came to a final conclusion that He has sent only His begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Yeah. He has sent only His begotten Son, Jesus Christ, for our sins and iniquities. Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary. That's called Holy Cross. That's your college name. Holy Cross. So on the cross of Calvary, he died. And on the third day, so when the thorns, there are 36 thorns inside, and 36 thorns outward actually. 27 into thorns in this ground of thorn ground. Okay. So after that, one thorn, one thorn inserted into the eye board, all of the eye and the common, one thorn. Then one, one man, one man strikes, strikes his head. That time one thorn enters into the um, ball of eye and then come out. Okay. Then uh, after that one, that one man is going to, one man was going to check whether she, whether he died or not by using an arrow. And then strike on the left side, there is heart, heart was broken, broken and then the blood and water came out from the confirmed. So man died at every blood, every single simple blood. So not the cross. There, is, there was no blood at the time of death. So that's why the water came out from it. So normally, after death, buried. Okay. So Jesus Christ was not buried. This tomb is something different from our tomb. Our tomb is only fixed, fixed, and concrete. You will not come again. Just like you will dig the dig the floor and then uh, place the body in the body, and then somebody is giving you okay, do you also somebody was doing some some concrete and also some stones, just like this. But Jesus Christ. So is something different is air condition. Because why I am telling air condition? Uh, uh, penetrate from one grave and rock. Rock penetrate. Then uh, inside the rock, the body, normally you used to kill, you used to fix, or you used to keep inside that. And then close one door. This is the wooden door. But that is not wooden door. That was the stone door. Stone made up of stone. Enter the full stone around this place. The rolling, the rolling door. This is the rolling, then blocked. This is the tomb of Jesus Christ. This, this, that, that, the heads and legs, this mother was followed. So the two soldiers were appointed to protect the body of Jesus Christ. Because somebody, somebody was stolen, somebody has uh, stolen this body. Maybe, okay. Otherwise, and then, oh, Jesus Christ, then, uh, okay, resurrect that display. Because this is already told you on the third day, I will resurrect. This is already told when he was uh, living in this world. That's mind he was living. That mind was 
kept on the mind of this king Pharaoh, then he appointed two big small soldiers. But can anyone block Jesus Christ? Can anyone stop the results from Jesus Christ? Can anyone? Yes or no? No. No, because Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and God of Gods and Lord of Lords. He has created the heaven, uh, the earth, and living things, all living things, and the human beings, especially all the living creatures, uh, trees, and stands, horse, and uh, insects, animals, and etc. Clear? 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 Creator. Okay, that's good. That's why one day, second day, on the third day, Jesus was the son. Jesus was the son. Then, after the first of Jesus Christ, then, now Jesus is alive. So, Jesus has made a way to go to heaven to preach Father, the heaven place, this is heaven. Here, Father is living. Always there. So in the heavenly place, there's a, the location of Father that this man through this channel, cross of Calvary, through cross of Calvary, man can enter into the heaven and the man can see God and can go and reach God. God, Jesus God, has made a way. Okay. Then whoever whoever submitted his themselves. To him, O oh Lord, I am a sinner, forgive me, Lord. Then Jesus will surely for you. Jesus will surely for you. Then he Jesus hold. Jesus will hold. Jesus holds the hand of God holds the hand of the particular person who has committed himself. Okay, O oh Lord, I am nothing just like whoever has accepted Jesus Christ as personal savior, then God hold the particular person's hand. Supposedly thing, some, some uh, students or some people, some small kids are uh, going to the tour, tourist place with the fires. That time some uh, tall dolls and some things on the shop, in the shop. That time what, what they think? They left the hand, the hand, they the father and mother and the parents hold on the hands. But the children, okay, remove the hands and then go about running and then go into the shop. Do you know? Are you able to understand? What I am telling? Okay, just like if you, God will never leave you, leave your hand. But you, suppose if, if you have to leave your hand, okay, suppose if you leave your hand, then you will go. To directly fall into the hell. There is the fire, lake of fire. Okay. Fire. It's fire. Fire is so this is the hell. Suppose if you hold the uh, hold the hands of God tightly, then you will inherit the heaven. You will reach, you will go to. Okay, very so very good, very good. Thank you, thank you. For where, where are you? Where are you going, madam? Okay. Okay. Uh, anyway, you, you still ask for permission. How will you go in the end of this class? Excuse me, sir. You say many comments, sir. You? Many. Okay, go. Then, uh, because this is uh, next time, last time, I was a girl that we will discuss the video. Okay. Now, this is the total opportunity uh, the three students have missed this opportunity. No problem. Then, if you take your hands of God, take the hands of God, then you will reach the Gavana and you will reach the Gavana. Right? Okay? To hold the hands, to hold the hands tightly, four things you must do. Four things you must do. First things, pray. First things, pray. Pray with God. Lord, pray to God. How will you pray? With your faith. Okay. Yes. Now, you are actually, he is very interested in magic. She is going in front of the bench. She is ready. Here you come. Come. Who is having faith? And come.
faithful prayer. Prayer when we just pray, pray for man, we are faithful prayer. I am having faith in the God. Then he will come, he will come and then I will come. Very, very good. Uh, 